well tomorrow it starts tomorrow I leave for the next couple of months I think and I'm looking so forward to it so uh, now I've packed and um, getting ready to go okay one more time to Svendborg while my daughter uh, I'm moving from her apartment so this apartment needs to be fixed and we need to uh, yeah, put furnace on the floor one more time so that's what I'm gonna do tomorrow and then I go north and I see you up there and I'm looking forward Okay, leaving my spot. Leaving Woodgrooving. The summer has started. Yes, it's begun. And I'm so happy and so excited. Get a very, very peaceful start. The wind will be between 2 and 4 meters per second. We got the current along. So, it's fantastic. I'm on my way. So, well, I know I've been here a lot of times and I've been filming it and uploading it. But this time there's something new has happened that the uh, old dock on the um, boat yard. It has been painted. Come on, zoom in. Yes, please. The old dock has been painted. And now I'm in Svendborg, where I stay until Friday, while I will vanish in my daughter's floor in her apartment. So now I'm in Svendborg, and I've been... What is it? Let it vanishing. Oh, but I've been located. <laughs> I've been doing the floor in my daughter's apartment as I should. And then I have got some visitors. Trine has come to visit me. Some visitors. Uh, visitor. My yeah. girlfriend. My beloved. Oh, with a golden earring. <laughs> yeah. And she won't be sailing that much along this year because she's going to Bahamas. Yeah, and ooh. <laughs> So that's how much you will see to Trine for the next month. Yeah, here's Roger Malay. Now here's the shipyard. Yeah, well, now I move to the old industrial harbor. Over there, there's the special harbor for wooden ships. Over there. And uh, here I'm standing on the old uh, shipyard in Svendborg, which not is a shipyard, not all of it. This here is a Rega shop, and there's a cafe in there. You can sit on a little homemade beach there and the mast in the background is where Blotong is now. Over there we have one of the old harbour houses and wood. Pretty nice. I moved to the other side of the old shipyard, which still is the shipyard. Very 
special place, I think. When you think of all those boats being built here. And now it's just an abandoned area for most of it. But I like these kind of areas. I like this industrial dump, you could say. That's the way you come into Swinburne Harbor from up there. And in there you can see the mast in the background. And there. Yeah, in here is the old shipyard who produced these wooden ships still. Here in Svendborg, I've seen something I've never seen before. On the harbor, there's a tango lesson, lesson going on. You can go over there and learn how to dance tango. That's something special, I think. Maybe you can hear the music too. something and here's a gathering going on for Sparkman Stevens. Unfortunately, it starts for real tomorrow night, and I have to leave tomorrow afternoon. And why it's sorry is that uh, this Commander 31 is uh, almost a copy of Sparkman Stevens IW 31. Two workers from the Bianca shipyard in Denmark. They went to England and worked for a couple of years at Sparkman Stevens and then they came home and made drawing for this boat, the Commander. And there was a. What's that called? They had to go to court to um, get the rights to build this boat because it actually is a copy of Sparkman Stevens almost. There are some small futures which is different but Bianca they won in court and that's why we have these command of 31 from Bianca left in Denmark. Bianca Yard in Denmark. Some you can't see it in the sun, but there's two Sparkman Stevens. No, too much sun. Too much sun. It's the city. Well, art for the working people. On 
the old dock. This is a brand new ferry and that's a very old one you could say. This here will be the most common view when you go around in the Danish archipelago. That's Fyn, the middle of Denmark, and it's the south coast. And uh, over there we have Avanago. Over there in the background, longest away is Eru. Behind the sailboat with no sail is Dreyö and right there is Skarö and over there is Jordø and Torsinge. There's so many small islands down here and harbors on all of them. Very quiet day. And uh, today, this is Svendborg, where we started today, doing some sail and some motor, but there was too much current, so in with the Genoa and then motor and the main sail, until we get out here, then no wind, so I took the main sail down too. But um, right now we are here and we are going this way and uh, Bjorn is right outside the map. That's where I go today. And then uh, Gustav and Karen comes and I think that I will get them uh, by the dinghy. You know what? This is okay. Actually, it's fantastic. Oh, just the sound. It's hot. I'm on Bjørn, which was the original plan for today. Then Karen and Gustav will come over with the ferry and sail along tomorrow. But then there wasn't a ferry they could catch, so I should go to Fogo and get them. But when I should start the engine, it wouldn't start. So therefore, I'm a little sweaty. 
This old Yanma has serious problems with the the little start engine has a little switch or what's it called? Really in Danish. It won't work. So now I will um, I don't know what it called when I Korsluter uh, in Danish. I put the two uh, wires together to uh, disconnect the the little switch and go directly to the motor engine start motor. That I will try to do. Spend med den. Nå, men det kan ikke komme i køleren, der er ikke plads. Det er stoppet med mad. Den står lige inde ved lykkepælen. Hvad, kan du ikke drikke resten? Nej, det vil jeg gerne smage. Jeg skulle da have brød med fra bageren af det. Damme! Well, now we are leaving the Isle of the Bear. And left is Gustav and Karen and moi. And we are going for Els. Here's the new crew, Captain Bloodhair. <laughs> Also known as Gustav or Gusse and his mother Khan. Yes, and it's so sunny that we put up a shield to get some protection. And we can have any sails up because there's no wind at all. And it's so uh, dim because of the heat, you can't see anything. But over there is Jylland, the biggest part of Denmark, and we're heading for it. And then we'll go north. It's very hot. Gustav, hold fast. Jamen, du skal holde fast, så skal du sidde ned og fylde det. Now maybe you ask why hasn't the kid a life jacket on while he's born on a boat, been sailing since he was a baby. So he's as used to get around on a boat as most kids are on land. That's why. But if it's blowing or something, of course he has a life jacket then. We ended up in Orysund, a harbor on the east coast of the southern New Land, the main land of Denmark. But there were, we went to Orø, the little island before, or first, uh, but there was not place, space for us or at all. And then we went over here to the marina, which was full too. So now we are in the harbor where big ships are laid normally and we put us alongside there show you Now we are leaving. Yes, I got to see them Now we have left Orisund uh, because it was just too fucking hot to stay in there. So now we decided we go for a night sail and we go through Little Bell to Middelfart. Middle and it doesn't mean what you think.
de altid ligger der. Ja, der er, Sejleunionen har jo morgensbøger herinde jo. Jeg tror, at de er, ja, der er kommet øh, fra 9 til 21 i det sydfynske, tror jeg nok. I've just been uh, changing my uh, belt for the water pump and the generator. Don't know what it's called in English. But I've just been standing on my head almost. Or at least I got my head into the engine room and holy shit it's hot. But now it's done. I'm still here in Middelfart where I came this night. Karen and Gustav has left and today is Trini coming back. She'll go to Bahamas in next week, so she just come for a couple of days of sailing before she leaves to Bahamas with her two kids. And then we go north. It'll be pretty windy, but we'll have it from behind, so come on. We go north. And um, yeah, I need to uh, change this switch in my uh, start motor for the engine. There's a little switch in there which is not stable. Sometimes it starts, sometimes it doesn't. I need to change that, but today it's Sunday in Denmark and I can't buy anything. So I'll. Uh, do this trick by putting these two poles together <coughs> so I go round the the relay the relay the contact and then it'll start and then I when I get to all I'll buy a new switch and put in. Here in middle five there is uh, the world champions in uh, match race for women so there's a lot of sailor women and sailormen in Middelfart and uh, there will be some competitions now they they stop for today because there's not wind enough so maybe tonight or maybe tomorrow they will continue the races there's a lot of people tents and music and party and everything on the harbor but now I'll pack my bag and then I'll go into city some I don't know, two, three kilometer, kilometer to uh, get train by the train station. See you. Hi there. left the boat and gone up in the city of Middelfart to find the rail station where Trine will come in one and a half an hour. But I tell you, it's hot, hot, hot. I've been walking for, I don't know, one hour and I drunk one liter of water. This is hot, but it's a quiet place right here. The smallest park I ever entered. That's it. But there's a little wind here and there's no sun, so I'll stay here for a couple of minutes. We've been walking five kilometers to buy pancakes with crab salad in, which we found on the old harbor in Middelfart last year. 
This year we are in the new marina, which is about five kilometers away or something. At least the way we've been walking. But now we found a little park, sitting here having a break. And on Thursday, Trine will go to Bahamas, so this will be the last trip before Bahamas <laughs> with her. <laughs> <laughs> And we have found this place with a very nice view to an old house. But it's blowing so much that it won't give any meaning to sail today. You can't see it really here, but it is. <laughs> yeah, we've been to the old harbor and bought some pancakes with crab salad, which we did last time we were in Middle Fatu, and it is. A very good marvelous marvelous, marvelous. crab salad Diesel. It's quite a project while I don't want diesel on my boat. So, my OCD coming to full. <laughs> <laughs> this here is not to drop on the deck. Yeah. This here is to avoid this. <laughs> Diesel pests. <coughs> Down here is the tank. And even though that Plotong is a circumnavigator, it's only 68 liter of diesel I carry in the tank. And to prevent all this shit in my tank, I have one of these filters which can filter water out of the diesel. And to make things easier, I do like this. And I will also do like this. So, so, and so. And I've put a additive in the diesel to, to prevent the, this diesel pest, or what it's called in English. I haven't tried to do this in open sea yet. 
only in Harbel, so um, I will have one of these small pumps where I can put one end into the, uh, the dock <laughs> and the other one to the tank and then I can pump it over. Plastic jar. <laughs> <laughs> But uh, this is how it's done here. Oh, this could be on the skip. It's okay, I got the look now. No? Yeah, that was good, I love this skip. Okay, Roger over and out. Well, now it's goodbye to Middelfart and to Miss Yard while she is leaving for. The hammers. Yeah. And I'm leaving for Aarhus. <laughs> <laughs> but um, that's how it is.